get the door, get the door, get the door. Am I the hijo for telling my girlfriend I want to spend our date alone with her and not with her sister and nieces? I, 28 female, have been with my girlfriend, 28 female, for over 6 years now and due to her mental health, we haven't had a chance to go on a date in a very long time. I have invited her out multiple times but she always refuses which, again, I fully understand why. We finally plan to go to my favorite park and have dinner afterwards, which she offered to pay for, and I was so excited to finally spend quality time with her. We live together and spend time together indoors, but it isn't the same as going on a date, so I was really looking forward to it. She decided to visit her sister and nieces yesterday and stay the night, which I thought was lovely. They haven't seen each other in a while, so it's not a problem. So this morning, I was getting ready and I took a shower as we planned to meet for lunch at the park. She checks in with me to make sure that everything is still good and then messages me to tell me that she invited her nieces and sister along as they would love to go to the park. I'm a little confused as I thought this was a date, which I mentioned, and she said that spending time with the girls would make the date even better for her. Now, I do not have an issue with going to the park with them. Honestly, if this was just a random park trip, I would have said bring them along anyway as that would have been nice, but this was supposed to be a date. So I explained to her that I wanted to spend quality time with her today and I wish she asked me before inviting anyone along. She got upset and starts and starts saying that the girls will always come first and that she hasn't spent any quality time with them at all this week, but has done so with me. In my eyes, a date is very different to spending time alone at home. We had a little argument, but I made it clear to her that my issue isn't the fact that we are going to spend time with the girls that day. I love spending time with them and her sister, but that this was supposed to be a date. I said we could have just rescheduled the date and had a park outing with them today instead, but she was telling me that I'm selfish and that she can't believe how I can be such a terrible person. She then said this word for word, if we had planned a candlelight dinner by the beach or something and they wanted to go, they can. If you want to date me, you should get used to them crashing our dates. I have not yet replied to their message. I feel as though that it's important it's just me and her. Otherwise, it isn't a date. And at that moment, I don't feel special to her or valued as a partner. And I should now go into every date with the expectation that she will bring someone along with her. She has now canceled as she showed her sister our messages and they said they don't want to go out now because of this mess. I spoke to my sister and she agrees with me that a date is between the couple, not a family. So Reddit. Am I the a when I said I wanted to spend our date with just her and not anyone else? What do you guys think? Not the asshole at all. Right? Mm -hmm. Man. I will say, though, just to play on the other side. First, to clarify, a date is you and your partner. Mm -hmm. That's it. Anyone else is not a date. So, like how I said earlier, if we were on a date and you guys wanted to join, that's cool. But that's no longer a date as soon as you guys join. Yeah. And Unless date it's is, a double date, but yeah, go. Unless it's a double <laughs> date, but again, that would stop being a date. Yeah. yeah. Um, but where I would have approached things differently than OP would have been at that moment where, hey, are we good? Yes, we're good for our date still. By the way, you tell me you're bringing some people over. Okay, cool. I would have let it go and had this park event. And then after communicated with you, mm -hmm. hey, you invited them. I don't appreciate that because to me, a date is just the two of us. Yeah. And I've been missing on that one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah. saying it beforehand where they've already been invited, it's hard for that person to uninvite them. Yeah, so it's true. just let it happen. And afterwards, uh, apparently we hadn't discussed this yet. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't have been on the same page. But moving forward, we are able to be on the same page because I'm now letting you know what a date is to me. Yeah yeah uh i don't know i think this is kind of rough like why does she feel like she needs to invite her cousins over though too and she says i'll I'll feel better if they come no what i feel like the best part of me or the best version of me is when i'm alone with you you know that's when we're having the most fun and so it'd be weird for me to let's say i'm hanging out with christina and casey alone and then it's our time for ourselves our date and all of a sudden i'm like hey you yeah. guys should just take it along and come with us. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was not part of the plan yeah. at all. Yeah. Also, it's weird to say that they will always come first. Right. Yeah. I can understand yeah. that Priorities. feeling from a single mom, a single parent that has split from their 
partner and is starting to date, my kid will come first and we need to find a partner that will fit into our already family. Yeah. But that's not the case here. This is yeah. your sister and your nieces. Like, yeah. no, my partner is first, first always, yeah. right, you know, yeah. I, that does not make sense. Your girlfriend, she specifically is having mental difficulties, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, I, I just didn't pick this up in the story. Is she getting help? Oh, it's, I don't it, think it didn't know specify. That yeah. It didn't say. So I think this is where it gets a little tricky because OP. I think what you're starting to realize is your partner emotionally ready. I think that's a, a tough topic to bring up because I think you're starting to see underlining emotions that you need supplemented in your relationship because it has to go both ways that she's not receiving from her partner. Mm -hmm. I think this specific situation is a tell sign that you need to have a very honest, sincere conversation about where you guys stand because yeah. OP was saying, hey, I, I'm taking you to not just any park, one of my favorite parks, and I'm really I looking know. forward to this date with you. Mm -hmm. The expectation is set. Was that too much for, her girl, for OP's girlfriend? Yeah. I think if she is going through mental difficulties, where I want to know is if she's getting help, maybe she's not emotionally ready and she needs her support from her family. I don't blame OP for having that quick twitch moment and saying hey this is not we this is not what we originally agreed upon and the mm -hmm. fact that she lashed out it tells me even further that she's maybe not emotionally present in this relationship and you guys need to have a sincere conversation because yeah. op is telling me that she's been looking forward to this moment have have you sought eye to eye to the, your partner and say like are you ready for this moment mm -hmm. you know and for me, I think it's hard to put myself in Opie's shoes. I don't know what I would do because right. my instinct tells me this is not a person I want to be with because they describe me as a horrible person. So right. you don't know me then. We're not understanding each yeah. other. Uh, you're calling me a horrible person. I would never call you that. Even mm -hmm. if I'm mad at you, I know who you are. I know who I married you're not a horrible person so i would want to leave that relationship but it's been six years yeah, so i haven't say. been in a situation where you've gone through a mental health issue and that i need to stick through it with you i don't know if i could i i don't know if i could stick through that relationship we haven't gotten married right and you're calling me a horrible person and you're in this pace place in your life where you need help i don't know if i can stick through that i think it just depends on the relationship because it, from this relationship just alone from this context it seems like although this person is going through like a mental issue right now they're not very supportive to their relationship you yeah. know but i feel like the i at least want to believe that and they outside of this reality here a normal person although going through mental issues would still value their significant other mm -hmm. you know that's fair Yep. So even like in my worst days, I still know that at least to me, I I can rely on you. Uh, in my worst days, I can be, well I, I can come home and I can say, at least I'm still with my wife. At least I have you on my side. At least, you know? Yeah. And that's like my saving grace there. So for the fact that this person is not able to value their own like significant other over six years now, it's crazy. It's crazy how they think of them so little. And uh, I, I think... It's, it's such a weird thing to say, but I think maybe we should start thinking about maybe leaving a person that has mental issues is not a bad thing. And you shouldn't be, you know, shunned because you left a person that's that's going through something. Maybe the question is, is the best for each individual right now to just take their to own time. take their part, the yeah. time apart. Now, to ask everyone here is counseling, couple counseling in the conversation or are we all just ready to move past I think maybe six years. Maybe not necessarily just con uh, counseling, or maybe not even moving apart. Maybe um, OP's significant other should just do alone therapy and just figure her stuff out. I think so. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and then and then proceed with a relationship instead of yeah. you know. We've never been to couples counseling, but I've been to therapy before, mm -hmm. and maybe there's a difference here where before couples counseling each individual needs to be okay mm -hmm. and maybe this person needs it isn't so they yeah. need their own time and couples canceling is when you're already individually yeah. semi okay and then can come together for couples canceling individually but this yeah. person sounds like they need to work on themselves on first yeah. really well put yeah apart really good point and then come together i agree and every person to their own 
And I think this is where the cherry kind of lands on, you know, ice cream for me a little bit. But I think she lashed out. Yeah. I think I think that yeah. was the final straw that broke the camel's back. And I think I agree. Maybe that response at that time and place was not appropriate. But when you as a specific individual being OP haven't had intimate time with your partner, we're not talking like super, super crazy intimate, just like quality time. I think it's justifiable. In that moment, she lashed out. It's like this was supposed to be our time. And her response said everything for me. Well, if you don't take all of us, you don't take any of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we need an update. I, I think that's what <laughs> yeah. we, we need a little change. The piece, fortunate little part about this is that there is an update. But Ooh. before we get to that, I want to just throw a few top comments here. Okay. Top comment here is not that equal. And I think it's time for you to move on. Six years is a lot of time to have wasted on someone who doesn't even see you as a priority. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody will say, not that equal. It's a huge red flag that she doesn't respect you enough to spend quality time one-on-one together. It's great that she has a good relationship with her family, but for her to basically insinuate that your relationship has no value is really an a-hole move here on her part. Yeah. yeah. But there is an update here, and I uh, want to go ahead and jump into uh, it. Update. <laughs> uh, update. All right. OP said, hey, everyone. So super quick update. I decided to go on a walk by myself to the park and i enjoyed it of course i would have preferred to be in a different circumstance but i didn't want to just stay home and wallow in self-pity i got back home just under an hour ago and spent this time thinking about what to do and after reading all of your messages i just wanted to thank you for all the support i'm glad to know i wasn't just making a big deal out of nothing and i was starting to believe i of course do not want to be a low priority in any relationship and will speak to her about it when she gets home. I still haven't responded to her message as I would prefer to speak in person, which I will do when she gets home from her sister's house. A few, a few notes to answer here for some questions. No, she does not work due to the intense therapy she receives. Okay, so she goes to therapy. Mm-hmm. I, will go, I won't go into details about her issues as it is not my place to say. As mentioned above, she is currently going through dbt therapy which has been helping a lot hence why we are able to finally schedule time for a date today i do support her financially but she has also helped me out too many times as she does receive her own form of income she even offered to pay for the dinner today so it definitely is not just one way i so i highly doubt she is just with me for money no she does not have kids of her own only her two nieces female three and female five i will make a full update again once I have spoken to her properly. In the meantime, I will do something for myself and do some gardening. Once again, thank you all for the support. Yeah. Uh, not the update I was looking for, out. but yeah, we'll we'll put. this story is actually quite new. It's, it was only posted 17 hours ago. Wow. So it, it, we got another update, which I am actually kind of committed to the story. Yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and post it here or post it in our Instagram. So, you know, just follow our Instagram. Yeah. So yeah like I, I think just a final message for OP. I think, I think you're flourishing. You're blooming. The fact that you get to enjoy your own personal time tells me that you enjoy your own space. And I just really, I really hope things work out for you. Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.